All right, good afternoon. Right, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to welcome, another day, to another, another eight eight episode eight. of The Buzz on Galaxy Television. Of course, this is where we talk trending issues on social media. And typically on Thursdays, we always discuss lifestyle topics. Today on the program, we'll be looking at who is to blame when children of the same parents... Of the same parents. 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 Of the same all right but I don't just want to limit it to sibling rivalry because it's a much deeper issue than just rivalry for some families being united loving one another is a big deal but in other families they are so close-knitted that you wonder you know at how their parents succeeded in raising um, such children that just loves each other that much and they can do anything for each other anyways we'll be discussing all of that and much more on the program this afternoon. My name is Patience. As always, it's a pleasure to be here. And I dare say it's a table full of beautiful ladies this Thursday. It's a pleasure to welcome all my guests to the program this afternoon. I'm starting from Mrs. Uche Ideho, whom I'm seeing first time this year. Yeah. First time this year. Imagine. Today is 25th. I don't hmm. <laughs> All right. She's joining us as an entrepreneur. She's also an author. She wrote the book, The Right Way to Court, which is like a cutting manual for singles. And she's also a relationship counselor. Good afternoon to you, Mrs. Ideho. Happy New Year to you again. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good to have you on the show. Thank you. All right. And of course, we have um, the women of God here who are joining us to bring the Christian perspective to our conversation. Uh, my dear friend and sister, she is um, uh, the one who uh, heads Realms International. That's her ministry. She's also an author of many books. And uh, she's also uh, the convener of the Elect Ladies. And um, it's a pleasure to welcome her to the program, Apostle Jane Maxwell Doucet on the show today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good as always. Thank you so, so much. You've got praise. All right, you're welcome again. And of course, the class monitor, the class prefect for Thursday's show is on the show this afternoon. Always a delight to have her join us. Um, she's an award-winning gospel artist, a, a minister herself. Uh, she's also authored uh, two fantastic books. Plus, she's a marriage and relationship counselor. Pastor Dolly is on the show today. Good afternoon, Pastor Dolly. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. nice yes. So do we have the list of noisemakers today? <laughs> we are good. All right. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. The number to use is on the screen. Um, you can use that line to correspond with us as the show progresses. And we are starting uh, from this very controversial one. Of course, we all know quintessential and veteran Nollywood actor, the person of Taiwo Ajayi Lyset, all right? She's one woman whom I doff my heart to any day, any time. And, you know, for the longest of time, ever since I've known her, growing up till now, she has been scandal-free, you know, she just lives her life, does what she loves doing, which is acting and all of that. But then surprisingly, she started trending earlier this week, and that's because of comments she made during an interview with the Vanguard newspaper. According to uh, actress Taiwa Jai Lysett, women who wear wigs have low self-esteem, all right? Like I mentioned before, she made the remark in an interview with a newspaper at a function that took place recently in Lagos. She opined that God has blessed African women with the best kind of hair of all races and wondered why African women would rather go for human hair, that's the artificial hair or the wigs, instead of rocking their natural hair. According to her, and I quote, we have been blessed with the best kind of hair that we can transform into any kind of looks we desire. We have to love ourselves as Africans and appreciate our God-given beauty. Our Africanness is what stands us out among all the races 
of the world. And then she went on to say, the African woman is beautiful in all ramifications. I believe women who go for wigs and human hair have low self-esteem. Their desire to look Western and foreign is a sign of low self-esteem. End of quote. Okay. All right. Of women and hair is a very big and a very deep conversation. Not just in Nigeria or Africa. There was a time in America too, you know, where um, black Americans also, you know, were releasing things online about hair, the hair of an African woman, how significant it is. In fact, there are songs on the hair the African woman's hair. That's how deep, how controversial this issue of African women and their hair is. Okay, and also on our soil here in Nigeria, over time we've had preachers, you know, other women who have also made comments about uh, women and their hair. And every time anybody mentions African woman's hair, is always a huge debate online. So I'm not surprised that this one started trending. But ladies, here we are. According to Mama Taiwo Ajayi Lyset, women who wear wigs, who wear extensions, human hair, whatever you want to call it, they are women who have low self-esteem. Do we agree or don't we? I'll start with you, Mrs. Adeho. I think I, I will respect her opinion. Okay. I know what she said, but I believe mm. that's our personal opinion. She loves the way she wears her own hair. I think I know her, she's always on natural hair mm. or wool or all mm. that and all that. I, I'm a fan of her anyway. I love her, I love the way she speaks, I admire her, I admire her intelligence and all that. Mm. But if she, as an individual, says she believes, let me quote what she said, that women that wear weak have no esteem. That's her own opinion. So, but for me, I don't, I don't agree with her. I don't agree with her. Okay. I've also had people, like you said about hair, I've also seen people that don't like women on low cuts. Hmm. They feel that, um, uh, I don't know, I don't know how they look at it. Um, particularly, I think it is all their own opinion, what you like and all that. I know that um, there was a time when I, I, when I, I, I wanted to go on low cuts, I've always loved low cuts, not fashion. Mm -hmm. I have a very soft scalp. It, it, even for me to apply relaxer, it's very painful. So I try yeah. to just go mm. low. That's for me. Mm. Natural hair. Natural hair. Mm. I remember when I got married, I wanted to go on low cut. I needed to convince my husband, and I told him my own, my own reason. It's not for fashion. It's just that I don't like my hair. Even to carry blood on my hair is painful. Mm. So that's my own. And at a point, my son told me something. He said, "Mommy, can't you just make your hair like every other woman?" Hmm. <laughs> so I said, what do you mean like every other woman? I think where I'm going with all this is that there's a way people see women when it comes to hair, just like you have said. Yeah. You know, but for somebody to say that because we are wearing wig, that makes you that makes you uh, have low self esteem. I wouldn't want to. You don't go with that. Go with that. Mm. But if you have a way of seeing, you know, there are some. My own hair is even. I still have a. Some women go as long as wow. bad. Yeah. Some people don't like it at, at all. all because, like you said, the beauty of a woman actually starts from the hair. So maybe she feels that you need to display that beauty mm. from your hair. I'm mm. just talking about how she feels. Mm. But for you to go as far as saying that that makes you have low self-esteem. Mm. Nothing. Has nothing. No, I don't think she has a problem with whether your hair is low or is but long. As long as you are wearing yeah, it. Yes, that is not natural. You can I rock your natural think, hair. That's I what she's saying. For a woman, mm. I don't even think that your hair, whatever you are carrying on this hair, mm. whether it's one million braid, whether it's wig, whether it's low cut, whether it's beautifully made, has anything to do with, with your, your self-esteem. Self okay. 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 All right, thank you, Mrs. Sideho. All right, Apostle Jane, yeah. what's your your perspective on on this issue of hair and low self esteem? Yeah, I also but um, I also want to say something about that. You know, she's saying um, she talking about low self esteem. She shouldn't have actually um, come up that way. Um, everybody has choices. 
I, like she said, I can decide to go on no court. She, somebody else can decide to mat his or her hair. Mm. And um, we are, we are, we've just given in to choices. Make up your, your mind on what you want to, or what suits you best, mm -hmm. and go with it. I don't see that having anything to do with whether low self-esteem or whatever. It's just a choice. Okay. It's a choice for whoever and whatever you think it's okay mm. with you. Mm. So, um, like me, she was saying something. I, I don't like people putting hands on my head. I feel very uncomfortable, <laughs> seriously. I, 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 find that, I found out that, you know, I waste so much time in the salon. I go out of my house. Hours like on end. Four hours is unending. Mm. And um, the more you sit down, the more gossips are flying on your head and all manner of things. So the atmosphere is not always conducive for me. Mm. I come back home angry with the hair, sir. Mm. So I just decided that no, I have to speak to my husband about it. I told him, I said, no, I want to go on low court. Because while in secondary school, I've always been on low court. Mm -hmm. So why can't I do that? And I say, it's like, you're going to look like a 15 year old girl though. And people will not know. I say, it's not about how old you mm. are right now. It's what is comfortable in my skin. And, mm. you know, and that was how I came up with this low cut of mm. a thing. So it's not about somebody having, anybody can spend money on the hair is the glory of a woman. If you spend money on your hair, it's, it's good. It's your money. Mm. But the truth is, but spend the money it. on your natural hair. That's what she's saying. Don't don't buy a wig and cover. Oh, your, the uh, yes, I cover the natural, natural one. All right, rock the natural one. However you want to rock it. Okay, yeah, that's so, what she so said. It's good. It's mm. good because um, it also saves us some money. You know, <laughs> from buying wigs. You buy wigs, one millionaire. Buy wigs, five hundred thousand. And you still come out. Someone with low cut is still looking better than you are. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's. It's uh, for me to an extent. I buy what she's saying, rocking your natural hair. Mm. I, I buy it, to but that you don't think it has anything to no, do with your self esteem? With those, okay, uh, self esteem. Or All whatever. right, it has All right Pastor Dolly, it's your, it's your turn now to say something about this <laughs> issue uh, of hair and self esteem. I, I don't think I think the issue of self esteem mm -hmm. should just be removed from the equation completely mm -hmm. because uh, the reason why a lot of people rock even me. The weaver, it's not because uh, they want to even show off. It's not because they feel that okay, that's the way people will see them and see them as beautiful or big or something. Mm. You know, sometimes for people who work, who hardly have time for themselves, they just find it easier. Just wake up in the morning, just put on the wig off, you go. Mm. You know, rather than spending time to go mm. to the salon. Because Convenience. Even if you're Convenience. Comfortability. Going on, you mm. still need to maintain the Yes, you do. You still need to go to salon from time to time mm. to get it maintained and mm -hmm. all that. So people just prefer, they just do the, what do you call it now? The See, wig. Say, girl, you know, this one, you just man the head to yeah. back, yeah. and you just put the wig on top, off you go. And that is very, very good. The hair. The wig is like ready made. It's like when people go to, to um, uh, what do you call it now? Ready made food mm. to just, maybe you're coming from work. You buy takeaway. You just buy takeaway because yeah. you know that when you get to, you won't have time to cook. Mm. You just buy. It's not because you're lazy. You work throughout the day. It's not because you have low self esteem. Your food is not good enough for you. It's the same thing with this wig. People wear it for covenant sake. It's not like um, because they have low self esteem. They believe that if they don't wear the wig, they will not look good. They will not, people will not see them as being big or being good. No, that's not the, I believe that's not the reason behind it. Mm. And we must also learn to respect people's opinion, people's likes. We can't force others to like what we like. I am unnatural myself. That doesn't mean that everyone around me has to be unnatural. It doesn't make sense. People should be allowed to be who they want to be. Mm. But there are some things we just push out there. And the time we push it out there, people who are that way will now feel like, okay, yeah. I'm not okay the way I am. No, mm. you just give people the chance or the opportunity to be who they are, to like what they want to like, mm. to do what they want to do with themselves, mm. not with you, with themselves. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, let me, let me uh, put some perspective on, on this conversation um, uh, again. Uh, okay. So, um, I think I get where she's coming from. Um, I, I too, I don't believe that your hair is what 
will give you self-esteem or not, all right? In, to a large extent, I don't think so. But then hair plays a very significant role for us women. Let's be honest about that. I think what she's trying to say is that um, while everybody was talking, I wanted someone to mention the fact that African hair, our natural hair is coarse. You understand? It's not very easy managing it most times. You get what I mean? For instance, you want to weave your natural hair that has not been um, uh, what, what you, relaxed and all of that is usually, you know, harder and tougher for your hairdresser than if you have relaxed hair and all of that. I think that's where she's coming from. Whatever the style you want to rock, do it with your natural hair as against you going to buy, you know, hair that looks like Uibo hair is being stretched out or is wavy or is curly because you want to have that Western look before you feel like you're beautiful. She's advocating for African women to feel beautiful with their natural hair because you are indeed beautiful with that hair and that's what makes us unique. And I have to say this, that I'm excited as much as we think that most ladies are wearing wigs a lot more ladies to these days are also reverting back to their natural hair. They call it type 4C hair or something. Type 4, everybody is coming back, you know, to their natural hair. And even if they wear a wig, underneath that wig is our natural, natural hair. hair and all of that. But then this wig thing is a big issue. The other time we saw a woman who poured water on, on her bed her matrimonial bed because the so husband refused to buy her, her a wig of a certain amount you know and all of that so that's why i'm saying we cannot totally knock knock her statement because okay. some people and actually but for that woman because her husband didn't buy her wig we go she, she can three hundred thousand and more she could even still do that for any other reason yeah, no, she's no. just we're just looking at the woman that's not where for sorry to be so and because her husband didn't buy her wig, she can't go to the bed. But whoever can be her reason also for pouring water on the bed, hmm. let us not tie that to wig only because it is wig. That's why she, it has nothing to do with wig. Even as much as I believe in it, and one person that is, that believe very much in Africa, hmm. I believe in my edoness. Being an edo woman, I believe very much in my edoness. I believe very much in my Africanness, that kind of a thing. So I believe in promoting what belongs to us, mm -hmm. even in music. Mm -hmm. I was even telling somebody last Sunday, I don't know why even in our churches, we just think that when we use like all these, our traditional mm -hmm. instrumentation, it's like we're doing something wrong. It has to be the white man way of singing. And no, we can worship God in our own way, mm. in our African way, and it will be God is not an Englishman mm. to start with. Uh, we don't know that. Uh, no, no, it's not. Okay, I know. I okay, you know. know. Oh wow. I know. Okay. Uh, what, a, I know the God what a relief. No, 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 it's not an Englishman. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you discover that if we are emphasizing mm. that okay, we should be African, mm. our hair, let's yeah. try as much as possible to be. Africa to maintain what God has given us to promote our own. Culture. I believe mm. very much in that, you know. Mm. But when you are not trying to promote us, and you are kind of making those who are not where you are yet to look as if yeah, they, they have, have problems. No, they don't have problems. They don't have low self-esteem. Mm. You are somewhere you want others to come and join you there. You don't insult them to bring them there. Okay. Encourage them to come and join you there. And how do you do that by making where you are? to be the most beautiful place to be, mm. not by insulting those who are not there. Thank you, Pastor Dolly. But why do black women wear wigs, though? No, you sit down. And, and, and this issue of wig is like, an, is like uh, the era of technology, you understand? It's Even before just, we got to this you know, era. It's not just, it's not just wig. Mm. We are just growing, you understand, as we are growing. Evolving, yeah. Evolving a lot mm. of things. Even the wig we are talking about mm. is not just uh, American style. We still have our own. They do Ghana weaving wigs. Mm. They even do this, even the uh, Afro uh, Afro um, wigs. Yeah, Kiko weaves. So mm. it's just that we are trying to make something convenient for us. But I think maybe why she's going that way. Maybe people spend so much money. So much. Exactly. Like, like uh, I was watching one. A wig costs a millionaire. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are ready. You Some know, people are even carrying a think, plot of land on their heads. Yes, yes. I as think weeks, maybe yeah. in that area where she's coming from, because you feel that probably if you don't look this particular way, you are not relevant. Probably that where she had to go to that extent of saying by like saying no, that yeah. women that were weak. I, I think that should be the area she's going to. You know, some people feel that for me to be elegant, I need to, I I got to, to have to wear, wear a wig. Be, yeah. I think if it is that area okay. she's saying, probably I am agree with her. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I have to look in, in a particular way for me to be relevant. Yeah. I think probably that's where, where she's coming from. Because we believe even with your natural hair, you can also style it the way you want and still be elegant. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Well, historically, we all know that black people, all right, back in the days, you know, um, had a way of managing their very coarse, thick, and dense black hair, all right? Uh, and it takes almost a village, you know, for you to be able to manipulate the hair and do so many things. And then um, the black Americans back in the days now came with um, these um, stretching combs, oh, yeah. yes, and all of that. And then black people started to stretch out their very coarse, thick, and curly black hair, you know, stretch it out, making it, you know, um, um, it wasn't really about it looking like a white person's hair. It was much more, more about it being becoming easier to manage mm -hmm. yeah to manage to comb through and all, like i had friends while growing up if you're combing their hair they start crying mm -hmm. i mean their hair is that coarse mm -hmm. that thick and dense you know and all of that so that's where all of that started from and of course like this they all mentioned as humans we evolve um, and then advancement came and it moved from one level to another and another but let me just mention that Different people wear wigs for different reasons. There are people who are actually bald, you know, because they're battling with some terminal diseases uh, like cancer and co that has taken off all their hair. Such people actually have to wear a wig. Some people have alopecia, which is hair loss of a humongous uh, manner. People have lost all their hair, you know, some people have receding hairline as they age and all. So, a lot of reasons why different people wear their wigs but for the younger ones who totally depend on their wigs for them to look fabulous I think they are the ones this message really is for to let you know that you are much much more than your hair all right what is inside of you is more important than your hair all the attention shouldn't be on your hair I'm not saying don't keep your hair neat don't don't make it look nice but I'm saying where you now have to bang backwards you know and go above and beyond yourself to afford a two million naira wig or one million naira wig before you feel like you know you have arrived then it's becoming something else and i think that's what mama tayo ajayi lyset is trying to happen having said that today um, natural hair is actually the trend amongst black women yeah. so go online and look for ways very creative ways you can actually manipulate your own natural hair and make it look beautiful. One of such ways is what I think most of us at the table <laughs> has adopted, which is to snip, 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 cut it, <laughs> dial it or whatever they call it, you know, style it anyway, and man, you're just good to go. Okay, now, I mean, nobody can take this away from me ever. The fact mm -hmm. that I can buff mm -hmm. from head to toe, <laughs> like, you don't know that feeling. Like open shower, I just stay under. And I'm not afraid that ah, this wig will spoil oh, this. That's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> All right. So away from wig. Oh, oh, oh. Before we move away from wig, let me quickly mention that they actually conducted a study. And the study was conducted on over one thousand women who live in the urban and suburban areas of Abuja, Lagos, and Port Harcourt. And the study results shows that about 81.8% of ladies whom the studies were conducted on actually own and wear a wig. That's to tell you something. Okay. <laughs> 